you already know what time it is. It's war time. So I'm on Twitter yesterday and my friend retweets this post by Women Still Trash, an account that I'm almost positive is gonna have a three to four week lifespan. And the post was showing him reporting a woman with a premium Snapchat to the IRS. Now, when I saw that, I got a good little laugh out of it and I went to sleep. I didn't think anything of it. So I woke up and Fantastic Max says, hey, are you gonna talk about this? And at that point, I realized that the war on thought, it had hit an all time high. The gamers, they were finally rising up. What I thought was an isolated incident went deeper, way deeper. <laughs> so big Gucci soldier Rob put on his detective hat and he had to get to the bottom of this. So apparently Facebook user David Wu has gone to war with these thoughts. He's raised an army, an army that's reporting all of them to the IRS. And it's even gotten to the point where I guess some of the women that are getting reported are trying to give rewards to Dox David. But the way the post is written and the, another post that that woman wrote doesn't seem like she's on some, hey, we're gonna dox him and get him fired. It's more like, welcome to the game too. They're gonna send the hitman to him. David's gonna look through his peephole and get around right in his head. However, David and his army, they're rising up. The gamers, they can't be stopped this time. All right, I didn't think I was gonna have to add one of these, but here we go. Uh, David Wu is now being accused of being a harasser. He's an assaulter. He's going down in the DMs and grooming people to do things he wants to do, or he's gonna put them on blast. And of course, the people he's doing this to are underage. So it puts me in a position where if I defended, I look like I am defending a person that messes with children but I'm, I'm not here to do that. I'm just saying it's just a little weird how the first two days of this, no one could find any info out about him. Then day three and four, it's like, we have all of this info. Five women, I believe, have come out now to expose him and David Wu is nowhere to be seen on his Facebook. They say he has a Twitter, but I've never seen it. So I don't know. I, it just, you know, just a little sketchy to me, but I would like to hear your thoughts. We're gonna get back to the video here. Catch you guys. As I was working on this video, I just got some intel. The gamers are working on something in Africa. The final piece, a new type of Metal Gear. A user has created an AI thought bot that is pulling all of the premium Snapchats, the PayPal, I think it's even pulling Amazon wish lists and putting it into one easy to view file so people can just report it. This is where the story takes a little bit of a left turn because apparently some of the premium Snapchat accounts are from teenagers and I don't need to tell anybody here the issue with that, hopefully. Also, I gotta state this before any of the big headed niggas come up and say, hey man, women should be allowed to do this. You're just a hater. I'm happy that a lot of women are out here getting this money. So much so that when I used to stream and you were a woman in the chat, I would just be that guy. I'm like, have you heard of this thing called YouTube? More importantly, have you heard of this thing called Twitch or streaming? A lot of money to be made. I see quick come ups, man. Crazy come ups. Have you thought about it? I'm not saying you gotta do it. It's just an idea. Don't do this though, where it's like the premium snaps. I, I can't get behind that one, but the streaming, I'm like, hey, go ahead. Why not? All these simps out here, man. Stop posting photos with your boyfriend. Go ahead and turn the stream on and get that money. And this brings me to my next point where the irritation you're seeing some of these chicks complain and they're frustrated and they're calling us this word right here that I can't say because Susan isn't playing around anymore. This is what blows my mind. Do you realize how many simps outnumber just guys that are against this type of behavior, it's 10 to one. Go look at any Instagram, click them photos and really start opening them accounts up. It's straight dudes, man. Hey, what's up? So what's going on? Hey, beautiful. I just wanted to let you know, you the reason why my morning's so great. So what now, I think this is a record. This is two time stops in one video. I don't think we've ever gotten up to two, but here we go. 
I was looking this chick's account up to put her in the video. She has a premium Snapchat herself. I kid you not, premium Snapchats are the new age reaction videos, bro. But it's only exclusive to women. <laughs> Dude, she charging $30, man. Hey, babes, please no screenshot. And you know why you're not allowed to screenshot? If anybody's watched porn growing up, you remember you used to go back, you find a fire tape, and you watch that bad boy six, seven times, but when you get the time, nine or 10 is not as good. That's why you're not allowed to screenshot, because you're going to see the nipple or the butthole on day one, and you're never going to see that bitch again until day 60, where you had to pay her twice before you see the same nipple pic. <laughs> that you saw the first day that you bought the premium Snapchat, but I don't know, I'm sorry. I hate adding these in because I feel like it breaks up the flow of the video, but let's go ahead and get back to it. I just had to add this one in. And this is the part that just makes me mad, just a tiny bit. When we got the straw in they butt just sucking they juices, I done taste every single meal you done had the last three days. Ain't no problem. But if I just say, hey, I don't know if this is it, then I'm this. I'm, I'm this, which unless, you know, I'm not trying to go down this road. I don't really understand how this is an insult, but whatever. And if it ain't this word, it's every other thing they want to associate with women hate. And I'm just like, so you just can't do something that I don't agree with. I have to hate all women because I just don't agree with this move. All right. Wh whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. This whole thing is hilarious. It spawns some great memes. But the reason why I'm not mad, I gotta tell you a personal story with me, and then you'll see why I'm just like, eh, if anybody taking it to that level where they trying to report these chicks, I, I'm not gonna go do it, but I'm not gonna be like, leave her alone, man. So let's go ahead and get into story time with Big Rob. So I'm pretty sure everybody that's watched this channel has heard of DJ Academics in some way, shape, or form. DJ Academics used to have this rapper, I guess, slash friend that would appear on his stream called Lil Boom. Now Lil Boom is an upcoming rapper himself and he started to get a couple groupies on his team. So there was a groupie that was really infatuated with Lil Boom. And you guys may know who I'm talking about if you follow Academics. So I saw her, she's a BBW or something, you know Big Rob. <laughs> hey, I like me a BBW. <laughs> So I followed her on Snapchat, right? And from her Snapchat, on the weekend, she does her little thottery thing and she posts herself up with her friends, whatever. She posts her friend on Snapchat and then linked her friend and was like, guys, follow my friend. So I followed the friend. Now this is where personally, it was just a little weird for me because when I followed the friend, the friend sent me a message and I'm not following anybody on Snapchat so they can message me. I just want to watch people. I don't think I don't think that's too much. The message said, hey, are you interested in my packages? Thank you for the follow. And I'm like, well, what packages are you referring to? Well, I have the normal package for 25 for my premium Snapchat. I have the daddy package. <laughs> I have the daddy package for 50. I have the zaddy package for 75 to 100. Now at the time, I, I, I just wanted out of that conversation. That made me feel uncomfortable. I wanted out of the conversation. So I didn't message this chick back for like two weeks. I'm like, yo, you know, and then you gotta do it in the middle of the night. You just open the message and exit out so it doesn't really show them that you're typing or anything like that. I did all that. I did, I'm not interested in no packages. This chick ain't getting $100 for me to see no butt shaking. That's just, it's just not happening. I'll pull up a photo from your Instagram and go type in BBW BBC and get it popping late at night. Like, my imagination is good as hell. So strike number one. A couple weeks later, she put this post where it's like, yo, if you add me and I message you about my packages and I, I feel like it's not going nowhere, what did you add me for? Now that was kind of a red flag because I personally added because I wanted to see Thottery on the weekend, which I saw. That was strike number one. Strike number two, this came a little later after she started getting money and boy, she started getting some serious paper and she would sh on the guys that's buying the packages. So I guess, and you see this so much within the premium Snapchat verse that this is the main reason why I'm personally not mad at anybody reporting them. Cause this is the thing, add 10 Snapchat chicks. I guarantee at least five of them will do it and I'm not a betting man, but I guarantee five of them will do it is where somebody will buy it, I guess they inquire about how they don't feel they're getting their money's worth, and then the chick will put them on blast. This little dick ass 
bitch ass, broke ass nigga. And it's, I'm sitting here and I'm like, how do you do that on one hand? And then on the very next breath, hey, make sure uh, you inquire about my packages. I'm going private this evening. Definitely going to have some new flicks up. So you can probably imagine what happened when this woman did this. They started going to different chan boards and started leaking her entire <laughs> catalog, which was garbage. I like low key taking people's money, taking people's money. I'm sitting here thinking like, yo, y'all are paying for the zaddy package and that's all you getting? She got you niggas. So that's just been my thoughts on this, man. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long today. Uh, Uncle Sam, he wants his money. I think, you know, I think it's time for some of these ladies to pay. It's hilarious. I I think what's making this funnier is how mad some of them are getting. It's like, yo, y'all getting so mad. Of course people are going to continue to do it. But that's just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on this in the comment section below? Look forward to seeing what you guys got to say. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.